Hey yo, it's your boy Self Made Films, man. AKA Battle Raps Coroner. Man, don't get put in that bag, man. You already know what it is, man. You tuned into the autopsy report. Report. The only report is an autopsy. Hey, yo. Yo. Kings versus Queens. I'm a little late with the recap, but that shit was crazy. That was a very good event you URL through last week. Um, you know what I mean? Shit was fire. Almost every battle was fire. Um, I thought the Charlie Clips Couture battle. I thought Couture fucking... We gonna get to that, man. So listen, man. First up, we got Casey versus Swamp. Casey J versus Swamp. Um, in my predictions, I picked KCJ to win this battle. Um, I thought she was better lyrically. And if she could match Swamp's performance, I figured she could take this battle. She comes out. You already know what it is. I ain't get too many bars because, you know, it was rapid firing. But um, she basically 30 Swamp, like I said in the predictions. I didn't say she would 30 him, but I thought she would get it 2-1. Um, the 30 was definitely a surprise. So, shout out to KCJ, man. That shit was fire. Keep doing your thing. You know what I mean? Swamp a bounce back. I think he took her lightly. You know what I mean? Which is technically not a rookie, but he made a rookie mistake by underestimating his opponent, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is, man. But he's still a star. He'll bounce back, too. But there, Casey got that 30 on him. Early. Um, Who else we got on the card here, man? I'm just going to... Just gonna talk about these battles, what I thought. Nitty versus C3. Man, Nitty be punching on a whole nother level, man. Listen, the way Nitty punches is crazy. Like, you really gotta listen to his battles back, man. He's one of those, he's at that point now where you gotta run his battles back. You know what I mean? Some of his bars you'll catch, but some of them be late as hell. He'd be already into the next bar, like, you know what I mean? Um, C3 was very competitive in his battle. Um, I had his battle going 2 1 either way after I watched it twice. Um, well, no, I, I guess I, it, C, C3 rounds was, like, full of, like, uh, more, um, content, like, um, you know what I mean, more substance, uh, and Nitty, Nitty was just punching her head off, so, you know what I mean, this one's really a preference battle, but, you know what I mean, you gotta, you can go 2-1 either way with this one, um, and, in the first watch, I did have Nitty winning 2-1 in the battle, um, I'm pretty sure that's what I predicted, in, the, in, the, in my predictions, but, um, no, nah, I mean, nothing really too crazy happened in the battle, man, it was, it was kind of what you expected from Rome, um, C3 talked about, uh, her attempted suicide a little bit, I think Rum Nitty brought it up at the face-offs the night before, you know what I mean, so, um, she brought up, she brought up how she, uh, struggled with alcohol, like I said, her, her, um, her rounds had more substance to it, no pun intended, you know what I mean, but, Nitty was just punching her head off, but like in live watching it, I had I had Nitty two one win in this battle. You feel me? Um, but the ladies was showing, they was showing out already. You know what I mean? You are it's already one one. You know what I mean? Um, lady, the ladies definitely showed out, and I don't even think the uh, dudes took them too lightly, except for Swamp. Um, you had E Heart, K Shine. You know what I mean? Um, I thought E Heart was going to do better than that. I didn't catch her explanation afterwards. But um, E Heart, you, I thought she was gonna do better than what she did. She didn't do bad, but that wasn't gonna beat K Shine, dog. Like not at all. Like K Shine's a fucking animal. Like he was, he oh my god. Like yeah, he fucked E Heart up. Like you know, um, K Shine, funny, aggressive, uh, witty. Like you know what I mean. He got all the attributes you need. You know what I mean in a battle. Um, the, the one that attribute that I never see him really do is, um, rebuttal. That's the one that, thing that Superman can't do. But, man, he's, I mean, I'm not saying he can't do it. He doesn't do it. Um, but, man, everything else, man, that k Shine's an animal, man. I want to see k Shine in Daylight next. I don't want to see nothing else. k Shine, Daylight, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not sure if k Shine and B-Dot battled before, but I think that would be a dope battle, too. Uh, k Shine and B-Dot. But K Shine with the 30 over E Heart. It got ugly. Literally got ugly in that motherfucker for E Heart, man. But E Heart, um, she, like I said, she has some material. I'm looking forward to seeing what she does next. Cause her last battle on Sigu Battle League was 
was fire. She was punching like punch for punch. Like that performance was better than her K Shine performance in my opinion. But um yeah man, K Shine with the 30. Then you had uh DNA versus Vixen. This is battle of the night for me right here. Um DNA, man, the anticipation of DNA coming back after seven, eight, nine months off, you know what I mean? Um, and haven't been on the URL in I think over a year. His last battle was on a different league in, in Jersey, um, um like when he battled drugs, I believe. So, um, you know what I mean? The, anticip the anticipation for him coming back uh, on my end was um, great. I wanted to see what he was going to do. DNA is one of the best to ever do it. He's a legend. Um, you know what I mean? If there was two Mount Rushmore's, he definitely should be on it. He had one of the biggest moments in battle rap history. You know what I mean? Get smacked the fuck out of here. Um, DNA's a legend. He's been doing it since a youngin'. But Vixen, oh my God. Not only did she look the part, but she came in. And she she dressed up like a little pretty girl going out on a date. She came in there killing, nigga. She came in there for the kill. She was not playing with DNA from the rip. Um, I had the first, let's see, uh... I gave the first round of Vixen. And then I gave uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, second round of Vixen and the third round of DNA. So I had Vixen winning the two battle two one watching it live. Even when I watched it back, she just had bigger moments. Even though DNA was wilding, like that DNA was wilding, but. Her moments was big, man. That line when she was like, I'll slap the bitch out you to introduce you to a better man, introduce her to a better man. That shit was crazy, though. She was wigging, man. Like, like I thought Vixen was decent before, but this definitely raised her stock. You feel me? Um, but they, I think the uh, the fan vote had it uh, 30. I think they gave every round to her, which, I, which is a little bit of a reach. Um, but I did give it to her a 2-1, man, even after I watched it a few times, man. Vixen was wild, and I was feeling it. Even that whole thing with the Biden-Trump shit, raccoon, like, yo, she was going in, man. Like, yeah. Vixen 2-1 over DNA. DNA's gonna bounce back. You know what I mean? These, 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 this was their shot, man. Like, like this was their win game-winning shot for the ladies, you know what I mean? Some of them dropped the ball. Some of them went for it. But either way, it was their, um, it was their shot, and they went all out. When it came to that. Um, next up, I got Arsenal and Official. I thought, now this is one of the ones I picked wrong. I thought Arsenal might have came in here and sleep on her a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, and Official, what I seen what her do with Rum Nitty. You know what I mean? So Official and Arsenal starts, man. Arsenal's wigging from the gate. Like, from the jump, he's wigging. As um, soon as they said go, he was wigging. Uh, three rounds, all three rounds, he was just going in on her, bro. Official did good too in all three rounds. Um, I had it. Uh, let's see, two one Arsenal. It looks like uh, I gave Arsenal the the first round and the second round because you know I gave Arsenal with the thirty. Then he was at the end. He was like, "You said you was gonna come in here and wrap your ass off. Yeah, you did that, yo." Arsenal went in, man. Thirty for Arsenal. Um, official did good every round. She was trying to match that energy. She was trying so hard, but she had some dry spots. But Arsenal, man, Arsenal showed why he's a vet and he's a legend, man. Um, like like I said, Arsenal with the thirty. I did. I was wrong on this battle. I underestimated Arsenal. I thought he was going to underestimate Official. You know what I mean? Which is ironic. Um, but yeah, man, Arsenal with the thirty. Salute to Arsenal. Um, Official be back though. You know what I mean? I think she'll bounce back. Uh, she's very talented. You know what I mean? She be in there wigging, and she can now you can see not just the rum nitty battle, but with other fellas, she can hold her own regardless. You know what I mean? Of the competition. Um, who we got next? Oh, we got Forty and Surf. Did I skip somebody? I feel like I got through that pretty fast. Forty and Surf, man. Shout out to Forty Bars. You know what I mean? She got her uh. She got a lot of things going on with her right now. She's like the female superstar on the URL. Um, she got her show on Caffeine. We like to know. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, I then, yo, we got the main event. You know what I mean? We got the main event of 40 Bars versus Sue Surf. Um, man, Sue Surf fucking his face off. Let me get me back in focus. His face off. 
uh, was very thoughtful, you know what I mean, it was very thought out, had 40 frustrated, um, I was worried for 40, you know what I mean, I thought she looked defeated at the face off, so, you know what I mean, I wasn't sure how she was gonna react, man, but, yo, 40 came out, man, she got through her rounds, um, um, I think I, they split the first two rounds, and then Sue Surf choked in the third, so I gave it 2-1, 40 bars, um, uh, Surf had everything in that bag and that face off but a third round. That was crazy. Like, you know what I mean? He put I feel like he put more thought into that. You know what I mean? He should have been up there rehearsing. Typical surf. This is what we've come to expect from him now. Um, a good round or two and that's it. You know what I mean? That's all we that's all I expect from him now. Like, um, and 40 bars went in there and did what she's supposed to do. You know what I mean? Get through her rounds and let these niggas know that they, that the ladies can fuck with the niggas. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, this is what it is, man. Um, but, uh, the overall tally, I think it was four to three. Um, oh, the, I think I, I skipped the, uh, Charlie Clips Couture battle. That's the one that's, that's missing on here. All right, Charlie Clips and Couture. So, Charlie Clips and Couture used to date two and a half years, something like that. Um, and so I was interested in this battle, you know what I mean, see what, what tea was going to get spilt, you know what I mean, what, what skeletons was going to come out the closet, they tried a few things, man, let me say this, man, Couture, um, Couture could rap, she's talented, but to me, her performance is very, very dry, it's like, like, when I watched the battle for a second time, I just went over her verses, like, you know what I mean, I think she needs to be... I think she needs to work on her performance. Um, I don't know. I don't know why nobody talks about this, but to me, her, her performance is dry. If she, I think she, if she had more, um, you know, uh, to her performance, uh, she probably would have did better in this battle. You know what I mean? Like she confident. Like you know what I mean? She, I think she's just a little too laid back with it. You know what I mean? But like I said, she could rap. I just would like to see her perform, perform a little better or work on her performance. Um, that's just me though. That's just my opinion. Um, clips come out, man. Clips come out playing, you know what I mean, with the jokes. Um, almost lost to his girl because he playing, like, you know what I mean? But, um, let's see. Yeah, um, Couture, she had a little stumble choke in her first round. Um, so I gave the first round to Charlie. Charlie was hilarious in this first round. Then Charlie has a little slip up in his second round. So I get the second round to Couture. That's what I got written down here. And, but then Charlie comes out and this uh Couture comes out her third round. She talking to Charlie. They didn't get too personal. It was joking around. Uh Charlie was you know flirting, you know what I mean? Her man was in the crowd, so he was messing with him and freestyling a little bit. Um uh but this third round, you know what I mean, he clamped down, started barking on Couture. Um and Couture looked like she wanted to cry in the ring, like, you know what I mean? Not saying that's that's the, just the look she had on her face, but Charlie turned up on her in the third round. Um, So I gave the battle 2-1 to Charlie Clips. Couture definitely um won the second round because Charlie Clips choked and vice versa for her. But um, they split the first two rounds, so it came down to the third. And I thought Charlie brought it a little, uh, you know, with the performance a little better. Like I said, Couture performance needs to step up to me. And that's just my opinion. Like, that shit dry. So, you know what I mean? Kings versus Queens was very entertaining. I watched it several times over the last week. Um, URL got something with that. And if the girls keep rapping like that, you know what I mean? They're going to have plenty and plenty and plenty of plates coming their way. So, shout out to all the females. Shout out to Queen of the Ring, URL, all the people that was involved with bringing us that entertainment. Because um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, yeah, man. Uh, what we got coming up, man? Oh, Yo, Geechee Gotti versus Snake Eyes. Very, 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 very interesting. Now, let me start off by saying this. Snake Eyes, it's hard to watch this battle. Like, you know what I mean? You can't say Snake Eyes got 30. I would say 2-1, um, if anything. Uh, that battle was so choppy. I'm probably going to have to watch it a few more times. So, I don't feel completely confident in saying who I thought won right now. But from from off the first watch, it definitely looks like Geechee won. But it was a lot a lot of unprecedented gas up in there and Geechee don't need that gas Ge Geechee's fire like you know what I mean Geechee gonna say some fire shit where he don't need the gas 
that shit was ridiculous. That was like Goonie gas on 10. Like, you know what I mean? Fill her up on Goonie gas at the riot out that motherfucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Jesus. Yo, hold up. Yo, Geechee was picking his hair, right? And they was reacting to that. Like, they was gassing him picking his hair, bro. That's how bad it was. They was sitting there like, oh! <laughs> Yo. Snake Eyes didn't have a chance in L.A. Um, in the in the culture or the community, you feel like he gets a a bad rap or something, or like people don't like Snake Eyes for whatever reason. So he went out to L.A. It felt like they were just like, yeah, we're gonna let this nigga have it. We ain't gonna cheer for him at all. Um, and that's that's crazy. Um, Snake Eyes still got through his rounds. Um, it was a lot of talking, a lot of unprofessionalism on both end, um, ends. When I went on Twitter, everybody's getting on Snake Eyes about being unprofessional, but Geechee was being like egging that on too. You know what I mean? I, but you know, he, it was a home game. But that was ridiculous, man. Jesus, wow. Um, so I'm gonna have to watch it a few times, but I'm gonna say it here: Snake Eyes did not get 30. You know what I mean? He did well in hostile environment. Like, you know what I mean? Like, can you imagine, like, going over there and doing that? And he said he was solo. I mean, I, I recognized a couple faces in the crowd from, you know what I mean, back in the East and shit. So, I don't know if he was solo, solo, but he might have felt solo in the moment. It don't matter. He was in a hostile environment on the West Coast. Then he talk, they started talking about the CK on his jeans that he wore back. He tried to discipline him. This shit was getting ugly in there, you know what I mean? And, and he, he stood tall in there, man. You know what I mean? He didn't get he didn't get small. You know what I mean? He didn't he didn't shy away from the situation. That's what's up. You know what I mean? He was on he was on on the West Coast by himself and he held it down. So you gotta respect that. You know what I mean? Even if you thought he lost the battle, you know what I mean? Because that that was a hostile environment. Even though he what did bring some of it on himself with talking through Geechee rounds, that wasn't helping. But that crowd needs to be more um unbiased you know what i mean and and, and just rock out with the because it, it looks it's hard to watch like that when everybody's just like watching snake eyes rap with no response it's like your playback value is going to be like down in the gutter because the crowd was whack you know what i mean towards snake eyes they was on they was on a hundred for geeky you know what i mean as expected like you expect a little gas but that was crazy so, um, but yeah, man, but they both had some bars in there. Like I said, um, Snake Eyes definitely did his thing in a hostile environment, but it looked like Geechee 1-2-1. Um, I'm going to watch it again, uh, see if I can get a more clear-cut winner, um, get some bars in there, whatever, write down some bars. But right now, I got Geechee 2-1 over Snake Eyes. Salute to both of them, though. You know what I mean? And, you know, the, the streets wanted to see that battle. I wish it would have turned out better. I think if the crowd was more... Unbiased, like I was saying, it probably would have turned out better, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, it even got cringy with the avocado part, like you know what I mean? When uh, they threw avocado in it, it was like, man, this is getting out of hand out, out Cali for real. You heard me, but um, yeah, man, be on the lookout for that merch, man. Make sure you follow me, self made films, films with a Z, you know what I mean, on all social media platforms. Um, uh, Snake Eyes got put in the bag today, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of people, hold on, I ain't even, hold up, hold up, let me go, I ain't even tell y'all who got put in the bag today, I'm tripping this week. Man, 2020 got me all fucked up, man, hold up. So yeah, Couture got put in the bag today. <laughs> the, the official got put in the bag. Uh, Surf got put in the bag. <laughs> who else? E Hart got put in the bag. Uh, Swamp got put in the bag. Who else I had when losing yesterday? I think I got everybody. Oh, C3 got put in the bag. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I got a couple bags in here today, man. You know what I mean? It's your boy, Self Made Films. Like I said, follow me on all social media. Uh, platforms at Self Made Films, Films with a Z. Follow me on Caffeine Battle Raps Corner. Follow me on Twitch Battle Raps Corner. Follow me, follow me, follow me. You already know what it is, man. It's the autopsy report. I do this for y'all. I do this for the culture. I salute y'all, man. And don't get put in that bag, nigga. You already know what it is. We out of here.